Oh, and I'm reference to the information. When I was riding my bike, you know, I have like a world record in reference to riding a mountain bike, You're like 50 something miles an hour, 55 pedaling, a, you know, 55 mile an hour plus mountain bike. Somebody thought it was at 80 when I had my muscles on or something. 80 miles an hour on a mountain bike or something. I don't know. Uh, somebody's got to look it up. And say, oh, do you think you're faster than your father? I'm not sure. But this isn't this isn't no training shit. You know, this this is a hostage situation. There's no way to do any training very much or athletic training in Indiana. There's no way. And look how many athletes have refused to ever be a part of any athletic uh, Indiana curriculum of any kind. Like, look how many uh, sports athletes had refused to be drafted in sports in Indiana because they knew what this satellite man in Indiana tries to do to people. Look at all the look at all the athletes in the drafts of sports: the NFL, NBA, MLB, or you know, Major League Baseball. I don't they don't, they don't have a semi uh, pro league or something here. The Indiana baseball team or whatever but uh in reference to uh these people and the little cincinnati reds and dodgers and royals and all the other baseball teams how you guys doing pittsburgh pirates and all the other teams how you guys doing the sports and baseball and a little pga golf you know you know in reference to my accomplishments and eat all those on a website you know reference to baseball basketball football uh tennis PGA golf, world record golf drives. My athletic accomplishments are not because of being in Indiana. Indiana is not a place to train for athleticism, at least not for me. These people have tried to murder me. They've tried to exert my anatomy all the time by trying to murder me, you know. And... You know, what, what branch of government or the military has a history of trying to murder people by trying to exert them? What branch of government does that? Those people need to go into court, whoever they are, the satellite men that are doing this. And don't forget, you know, when they kidnapped me from California, they were burning me the first day when I got off the airplane. They were burning my face and teeth. The first day when I had gotten off the airplane in Indianapolis, Indiana, when they had kidnapped me around 2000, 2001. Look up the information. And, uh, you know, that was even before starting to work in Indiana. So, you know, they were, you know, which means there was no revenues or taxes. You know, and check my pay stubs. They always show that I paid taxes, too. I just never claimed them on my paychecks so I wasn't making very much money here and uh, the government's blocking me from receiving uh, tax write-offs that I should have received this is attempts to at murder every day and look at me look at me properties my parents had built in Indianapolis Indiana and these impersonators are trying to claim that they're trying to steal the properties in Indianapolis. Let's check their identity. Let's check their race. Let's check their religion. Let's check their ethnicity. These people that are trying to steal my mother and father's estates. And read it off on television. And on a podcast. And or a, uh, you know, on a YouTube video. Read off the ethnicity of every single person that is involved. Because the American people have a right to know what kind of people are trying to steal my mother and father's estates. What's the ethnicity and race of all these people that have abused me? All these people trying to steal my identity. All these people trying to steal monies that people tried to send to me. What is the ethnicity of every single one of these people? Need it publicized. 
and which uh, race or ethnicity of people is blocking it from the media in reference to who I am and who my parents are. And my race and religion of who I am. Hello Catholics and Jewish and hello uh, Buddhists and friendly religions of people.